Hi there, it's Carly with the North Dakota Brain Injury Network. Um, this is your recording that goes with your anger chip sheet. So um, anger is one that we give to all of our clients because it is a very common side effect after brain injury. Um, so have your anger chip sheet out in front of you and follow along with me. So let's first define anger. A brain injury can lead to irritability, agitation, lower tolerance, impulsivity. Anger is a common emotional response after a brain injury. Again, we give this to all of our clients because it is so common. Um, it is not part of the symptom inventory, but it is definitely a symptom that we hear from all of our survivors, no matter how they sustain their injury. Um, there's, there's an anger about that, kind of that before and after, so to speak, and that now life is different and coming to terms with that new normal. Um, there can be a lot of reasons for anger. Um, some people are angry at the cause of their injury or they're angry at the loss of abilities um, or the area in their brain that processes anger could have been impacted as well. So there could be a lot of reasons why someone is angry um, and it can also be a combination of, of those three. Um, what does anger look like? Um, increased heart rate, sweating, muscle tightness, or a raised voice can be signs of anger. Um, there is usually an on-off quality to anger, an explosive angry outburst one minute, but calm again shortly after. So kind of that zero to 60 and then back down to zero really quickly. Difficulties managing and acknowledging anger is also something that anger can look like after brain injury. Um, oftentimes individuals will blame others for provoking their anger. So what can we do about it? Now this is the back page. This is um, some things, some accommodations we can make. We can become aware of personal thoughts, behaviors, and physical states associated with anger. So kind of become aware of those triggers. What makes us angry? When do we notice our heart rate increase? When do we notice those muscles tensing? Um, and what thoughts cause us to become angry? Um, and another accommodation we can make is to utilize basic anger management skills. So deep breathing. Deep breathing can restore the nervous system. So oftentimes that flight or fight response kicks in when we're angry. But if we work on deep breathing, that can help kind of bring us back to baseline. Um, counting backwards from 10, just that, that simple, 10, 9, 8, 7, right? Just keep going down to 1. Um, and there's also mindfulness techniques that can aid in relaxation. So let's talk a little bit about mindfulness. So mindfulness is a type of meditation in which you focus on being intensely aware of what you're sensing and feeling in the moment without interpretation or judgment. Practicing mindfulness involves breathing methods, guided imagery, and other practices to relax the body and help reduce stress. Spending too much time planning, problem solving, daydream, or thinking negative or random thoughts can be draining. It can also make you more likely to experience stress, anxiety, and symptoms of depression. Practicing mindfulness exercises can help you direct your attention away from this kind of thinking and engage with the world around you. Um, there are lots of techniques we can use for mindfulness. Um, I personally use the app called Calm, C-A-L-M. Um, they have a free version and a paid version. I think either are very good. Um, and they're just like 10 minute guided meditations. You can change the voice if you don't like the, the female speaker, you can change it to a male speaker. Um, there's all different kinds of topics, different lengths of time. So yeah, most of them are 10 minutes, but you can go in as short as three minutes. Um, highly recommend that. Um, we also do have a tip sheet on mindfulness. So there will be a separate video on mindfulness as well. Um, it's gotten a lot of press lately, but honestly, it's really not that complicated. It's honestly deep breathing. Sometimes it can be listing things in the room that you see or hear or a lot of times util utilizing those senses. So sometimes we'll ask people to kind of ground themselves by, you know, name me five things in the room you can see. Tell me four things you can hear, three things you can smell, you know, that kind of stuff to really incorporate those senses and kind of distract us away from that anger, basically. 
Um, so yeah, there are free smart foam apps such as Calm, Breathe to Relax, and Breathe for Breath Relaxation exercises. So yeah, Calm is the one I mentioned on my last slide, but there are many others out there that you can use. Um, Netflix also has a Headspace um, that you can watch now too. Headspace is another app that you can download, but they also have a Netflix um, version of it as well. Uh, physical activity such as exercise or yoga can be self-calming. Um, and with yoga, I highly recommend for brain injury survivors that they check out Love Your Brain. Um, loveyourbrain.com or .org probably um, is a great, great resource. Um, and I highly recommend looking into that. A lot of their information and resources and videos are free for survivors. Um, we want to recognize triggers for anger and reflect on how our body felt. So what kinds of things made us angry? Going into a crowded store with the music playing and the lights on loud. You know, what, what made us angry? Um, what is something someone said, a certain word that they used? Um, and then tuning in to how our body felt. You know, did our muscles get tense? Did our heart rate start to, to, to beat faster and increase? Um, so there can be a lot of different things for a lot of different people, but we really want to kind of tune into those triggers and be more aware of them. Um, possible triggers can include losing your patience, feeling as if your opinion, your efforts aren't appreciated, uh, when you feel like there's been an injustice, uh, memories of traumatic events. Many people with brain injury often have like a PTSD label that they carry as well, and they have um, things from the event that that created their injury that they often flash back to. And then there can be worrying about personal problems. Um, I think of that whole before and after piece and that maybe now things that you used to be able to do before aren't as easy. And so there can be some anger from that. Um, I did take this from a veteran training um, PDF. So if you wanna um, get that link right there, you can. Um, so while feeling anger is unavoidable, it is still possible to manage. So there are many things that we can do to manage our anger. Um, we can't make it go away, um, but we can make it better and make it so we don't get ourselves into like a behavioral situation, right? So I hope that was helpful. Um, let us know if you have any questions. There's our contact info, and we hope to hear from you if you need anything. Thanks.